Hello everybody, in this lecture we will be going over 1992 IMO problem number 4. Here's a view of this problem. In the plane we are given a circle C, oops, a circle C, a line L tangent to that circle and a point, a random point M on that line. So let me go ahead and uh, draw this setup. Um, so we, we, we are given a line L um, and then uh, a circle um, uh, C, so probably something like that. Oops, I want to make it look like a circle. Um, yeah, I can play with it a little bit. Oops, yeah, that looks good. And finally, a point uh, on the line. So, so this is the line L, this is the circle C. And a point on the line, uh, let's say this point here, M. And let me call the tangency point here, oops. Oh. Uh, the tangency point here as, as T for tangency. And now uh, we are told that we would like to find the locus of all points P which satisfy this, this, this property, which is that there exist points Q and R on L such that M is the midpoint of QR and C is inscribed, the circle is inscribed inside the triangle PQR. So let's start by um, by first figuring what happens if, if really such points Q and R exist and as a result we draw two tangent point, two tangencies and see uh, where the, the point P can be located. So if I decide to pick a point uh, uh, let's say Q on one side of M, let's say uh, Q is somewhere here, oops, oh, sorry for that, um, let's say Q is here, I need to be very, uh, very careful to pick a point R on the other side such that, um, such that QM is equal to MR, right, so probably a bit more to the right here, so um, yeah, I hope that works. So um, that's the point R and all I'm left is to draw um, Let me use another pencil here to draw the tangencies to the circle um, so that would be one of them and um, This one would be slightly harder for me because it looks very um, parallel uh, so something like um, yeah, so something like that. So now the question is uh, to identify the location of all such points P. But now uh, recall uh, a very nice uh, idea and a very nice configuration. Uh, actually, uh, let me just uh, clean this thing a little bit because it looks like a little bit messy here. Um, hold on. Um, yeah, like that, I would say. Let me redraw it carefully because I need to be really uh, a little bit more exact here. So, something like that, I would say. Okay. Um, so, but anyhow, okay, okay. So, that, that sounds good. So, that's the point P here. So, what I will do is the following trick. I will find the point diametrically opposite point T uh, uh, on the in circle, on this circle. I is the center of that circle and by a very well-known lemma I know that so if I call this top point as um, I guess uh, um, uh, E let's call it E so it it must be the case that so if I extend PE uh, like that it will hit the line L at a new point S and it's a very well-known result that um, in fact um, because M is the midpoint of uh, Q and R, it turns out M is also the midpoint of T and S. The reason being that T, Q, T is equal to S, R. So this is a very well-known uh, lemma popularized by, by Yufei Zhao. Uh, it's called the diameter of the in-circle in lemma. And, and that's it. So the Q, T is equal to S, R. Qt is equal to Sr, but also Tm is equal to Ms as well. So these two are also equal, suggesting that P will be located on the ray uh, um, Se beyond E, right? The reason is that 
as I take the Q to the left and R to the right, the most that I can go is um, is at infinity. If I take both Q and R into infinity, M will still be the midpoint. And as a result, um, the, 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 the tangency QP and RP will be such that P will contain all the points except the point E, right? All the points on the ray SE except the point E. So therefore, I claim uh, so the, the, that the location of the point P is on this ray starting at point E but not containing E and extending uh, outwardly. Now, this, uh, this location, uh, ray SE beyond E, is uh, in a sense... Uh, is constant um, so it only depends on uh, on the givens of the problem namely the three things the circle the ten the line tangent to the circle at point t and the point m so obviously huh, so s only depends on m and the point of tangency between the circle and the line so its location is unique E is location is unique. So when I say unique, I mean independent of the choice Q and R. You vary Q and R. You bring them farther to each other, closer to each other. M, as long as M is the midpoint, um, S does not depend on Q and R. S only depends on the circle and the line. And as a result, uh, we have we know we can say that if if such a circle exists such that it is the inner circle of triangle PQR, the location of P would be on this ray, which is determined, uh, uh, depends, uh, as we said earlier, only on the three things, the three objects, C, L, and M, a circle, a line, and a, a, and a point, such that M is the midpoint of QR. Good one. Um, you can also prove a similar result for the uh, converse statement. So if uh, if if a point P is given lying on this ray, huh, uh, uh, such that uh, what you can do is all you do is you take a point on on this ray. So so I'm talking about the converse statement now. Um, if P is given on this ray, we can we we can certainly show that there will exist. A triangle PQR where this circle will become an in circle of this uh, of this triangle and all you do is so suppose consider this uh, alternate point let's say um, um, here P prime so all you do is you just draw two um, tangents like this and probably probably um yeah so probably something like that Okay, I, I'm probably messing up my picture here, right? Uh, let's, um, well, okay, okay, so hope you, you won't mind. So, um, it will hit these two points. Let me call them at Q prime and, uh, and uh, R prime. But what's so special is M continues to be, uh, we claim, the, uh, the midpoint of Q prime R prime. Uh, and the reason being that M, we already know, is the midpoint of TS by this special configuration. But by the uh, Euphasau lemma, by the diameter of the in-circle lemma, M, uh, so we also know that Q prime T, uh, this distance, is equal to S R prime as well. As a result, M is not only the midpoint of TS, but it's also the midpoint of Q prime uh, R prime. And, um, and therefore, um, we can say that... Um, that, that that the locus uh, um, that P can lie is certainly the ray uh, SE beyond E, and that proves the uh, converse uh, statement as well. So this is a very neat problem, I feel like, uh, and hope you enjoyed it. Um, so make sure you understand this configuration, the diameter of the in-circle configuration, and how the top point E is mapped, and so how P, E, and S becomes a uh, collinear as obviously here is the touch point of the x circle of triangle pqr okay so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in our next lecture